packed show for you guys today. We have some big announcements for you and a special treat. We're adding a, a addition to the team, so really it are. should be a great show. Let's start off with some big news that's happening right now. An explosive allegations made against Donald Trump's pick to fill the open Supreme Court seat, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Classmate Christine Ford, who claims that 36 years ago, while both were still in high school, Kavanaugh forced himself on her. Kavanaugh has unequivocally denied the allegations, and the classmate who Ford says knew about it, Mark Judge, has come out and said he does not remember the incident. Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing was supposed to be tomorrow. But because of the veracity of this story, the Senate has delayed those hearings amid all of this stuff, and they will address these allegations on Monday with a hearing with Kavanaugh already agreeing to it. Ford has not yet agreed to testify, saying that she will not testify unless an FBI investigation is started. And the White House didn't waste time getting out in front of the story with White House official Kel Kellyanne Conway came out on Monday and said that Christine Ford deserved to be heard. The president echoed those sentiments earlier in the week by saying that it was fine that the process would be delayed. But yesterday, the president stepped on his feet, saying in a press conference, quote, this is not a man that deserves this, end quote. So that should be interesting how it came out again, that breaking news that came out last night at about 7 o'clock central time that she originally agreed to testify, but now says she will not testify unless there's an FBI investigation yeah. that is started. Now moving along. Hurricane Florence, which approached the southeast coast like we hadn't seen a hurricane do before. Calm down, and meteorologist Sally Chabuk joins us to tell us more. Sally. Hi, thank you guys for talking about the hurricane today. Right behind me on the screen, you can see the hurricane as the circulation moves forward and um, all of the, the, the battle that the white sand and the ocean had, the water collided going into a Category 2 storm. And as that came down to a Category 2, it showed that the risk of flooding over the 9 feet storages, storm surges could reach to 12 feet over the flooding. People's houses were flooding in the first two minutes, just all the way up to 12 feet, all the way up to the second floor that people were not able to make it out in time when they were trying to save their belongings. And so moving forward, when the Atlantic Ocean had to take the fight against the... Uh, when the Atlantic Ocean had to take the fight against the storm, this part of the hurricane is coming down south, and the Gulf Stream is moving up north. And as they battle each other, luckily the, the Gulf Stream was powerful enough that it was able to calm down the storm and cumulate it into a smaller area. And so even though that the storm was significantly smaller, going to 90 mile per hour winds, it, the flooding was unbelievable. Moving on to the next photo, Moving on to the next photo, you'll see how there is so much circulation going on in the atmosphere. This is a picture of the eye of the Hurricane Florence. And as you could see, the circulation down all in the center finally went into tornadoes when it made landfall. Ohio even had some circulation coming out of, from the Mexico Gulf breaching into the storm and having effects that tornadoes broke out in the Carolina coast and Virginia. And so as this moves forward, it finally came down just to a tropical storm once it made landfall. Moving on to the next, you could see that there was over six to nine circulation storms happening in. This picture is from NASA posted here. And you could see that there was different locations and different circulations and low pressure atmospheres filling all down here. Next coming up storm is going to be in, around Mexico and the Caribbean. That is very significant today because the stream is so warm and it's just feeding the temperature that it is most likely going to make landfall out of Category 4 estimated from its path. And so thank you for NASA for joining us today. Right back to you, <laughs> Malik and Keely. For that update, Sally, and our thoughts are with all of those who are still feeling the effects of Florence. Because that flooding is really it's coming, I mean, second floor of your house. Yeah. Get, definitely get out of there. Yeah. That, well, moving on with some more news, Iowa State golf champion was found dead on a golf course in Ames, Iowa, Monday night. The police started an investigation when a suspicious bag was found with nobody near it. After they started investigating, Celia Barquin Arozamana was found dead. Police charged a 22-year-old man named Colin Daniel Richards with first-degree murder. 
Barquin Arozamano was a 22-year-old native of Spain and was recently named Iowa State's Female Athlete of the Year. The athletic director said that she had an infectious smile and bubbly personality. The university athletic department plans to honor her at the football game on Saturday. Very, very, very sad story there. With the increasing popularity of Airbnbs and sort of short-term rentals, Lawrence City staff drafted regulations to allow short-term rentals in all areas but requires them to be licensed, inspected annually to be insured and to follow occupancy limits, other restrictions. Currently, the city code does not allow short-term rentals, but that has not stopped the use of Airbnb in Lawrence. That's right. I think Airbnbs in Lawrence have recently, I mean, I have... I hear a lot of parents coming here and getting Airbnbs rather than hotels, though. Yeah. So, I think they were doing it before the law was yeah. so law breaking. So, <laughs> China announced a trade hike on $60 billion of U.S. products in response to President Trump's duty increase in a dispute over Beijing's technology policy. The finance ministry said that they will go ahead with their plans that were announced in August for the increase of 10% and 5% on 5,207 types of U.S. goods. These goods include coffee, honey, and industrial chemicals. The increase is aimed at trade curbing. The Trump administration announced the tariffs on about 5,000 Chinese goods. They will start at 10% and they are going to rise to 25% on January 1st. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in that. I'm not an economic major, alrighty. Stay tuned, stay right here at Wake Up Call because we have a big show for you guys today. We're celebrating here. Today's a very, 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 very special day. Very special. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after the break. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back to Wake Up Call. What a great day. Are you what having a, a great good day? day? Yeah, I mean, it's a very special day for a wake up call. I wonder what we were doing a year ago. Today, I don't know. We'll get to that. But hmm. right now, it's time for Weekend Review. Host of the talk and wife of uh, Les Moonves, Julie Chin has stepped down after her husband's departure from the company just over a week ago. In a pre-recorded message to viewers, Chin said that she needs to spend more time at home with her family, her husband, and her young child. She had been a host of the show for nine years. She will continue her duties on Big Brother. Wow. And Elon Musk, the billionaire owner of Tesla, is being sued after calling one of the drivers that rescued 12 boys trapped in a Thai cave, quote, the pedo guy. The British driver said he would file a lawsuit, and we can now report he is a man of his word. Yeah, a lot of money there. There's I'd sue Elon Musk I if I could. Only so. imagine. <laughs> Moments after we got off air last week, Apple released three new phones, the iPhone X, iPhone XS, and the iPhone XR. They also released new Apple Watches, but some things that caught our eye right here at Wake Up Calls, the new feature in the iOS 12 system. The phone can measure objects, so you can put your phone up, and it can measure, like, this like, coffee. Wow. If we have our phones updated next week, maybe we'll do it for you Something live special. on special. What's this one, Like The iPhone this is a XX 10. thousand? Yeah, something wow. like that. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen, you and the whole world, though, well, the whole world was wrong. The model and actress made a stunning statement followed by a video giving the world the correct pronunciation. Take a look. Isn't it, Mom? <laughs> I told you, it's Tigan. See, I, I've been thinking it's Chrissy Teigen. What is it? It's Tigan. Her name is Chrissy Tigan. Oh, Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me, but she let us know, and she let the whole world know yeah. at the same time. Huh. Well, moving on to some sports. Sports, we had a big weekend. The KU football team won for the second week in a row. The team has not secured back-to-back -back wins since 2011. The season's really starting to turn around with a 2-1 record after forcing six turnovers in Memorial Stadium on Saturday and cruising to a victory over Rutgers. The offensive star of the game was freshman Puka Williams. He ran for 158 yards on 18 carries and one touchdown. He's the first running back in KU football history to start his Jayhawk career with back-to-back -back 100 rushing yard games, and his father drove 13 hours to see it. 
Last time KU scored 55 or more points against an FBS opponent was against Nebraska in 2007. They won that game 76 to 39. KU leads the nation in turnover margin at plus 12. They have 13 takeaways, which is the first time any FBS school has reached that high of a number in its first three games since 2014. Jayhawks will travel to Waco, Texas to take on the Baylor Bears 2.30 p.m. this weekend. And I don't know about you, Malik, but I am pretty excited I'm about that. I'm pretty excited, too. Record. And I think if you weren't watching Wake Up Call this morning, that's your fault. Because you just gave all the details on every single step it was a very, of the past 10 years. a very years detailed on. story. But no, I remember I can take me back to a time where I said that Davey, uh, David Beatty, Beatty. Sh Beatty should be fired. Remember that day? I remember, remember that, that a few weeks, a weeks ago. Weeks ago. Was, Malik was being a little harsh on a wake up call. But. Well, I mean, two games, we still got a long way to go, but he can keep his job for a little yeah. longer. And it's, right. it's exciting for fans to be exciting. see a little a little Winning, win. it's different Winning around in the here. fall. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. That's usually we save that for the spring. Right? <laughs> Winter in the spring. Moving along to basketball, our, our oh, sport, that's our favorite. Too. Oh. Okay. Monday morning, the KU basketball team was up before the sun, preparing for a season of greatness at Coach Bill Self's boot camp. At 6 a.m., the Jayhawks practice gym where it all begins every single season. Marcus Garrett explained the early mornings can be hard for the players, but he said Coach Self arrived at the gym with great energy and helped the players match the energy that they needed to perform at a high level. He said that the boot camp is hard for everyone, but the new players are learning and working hard. The fans will see the debut of the team next Friday night at late night in the fall, which I will be there. So I will be there. It's going to be an exciting be time. Fun. Yeah. And some more basketball. Shooting guard Christian Braun gave Coach Bill Self his verbal commitment Sunday during his in-home visit with the KU staff. The six foot five senior attending Blue Valley Northwest chose KU over K State, gross, Illinois, Minnesota, and other schools that recruited him after his impressive spring and summer with Mocan Elite on the Nike Evo circuit. Well, that is exciting. Right? It is exciting. I love. We love Joy. getting new recruits. Because that's always the best, the best possible thing. The most exciting. Do. So right. we're gonna pass it to Sally for weather in just a second, and then when she's done with weather. She's going to come over to the desk. She's going to walk over from that nice green screen, walk over to the desk, because we have a big announcement. That's about right. About Mr. Book. It's Chibook. 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 So now to Sally for some more weather. Sally. Thanks, guys. And we're looking at this weekend's forecast for Saturday. But that's when Jayhawks are going to be playing, but they're going to be playing in Texas. So it'll be a cool day here, an enjoyable time with a nice breeze that will be able to just relax watching the game with your friends. And tomorrow night, we have a couple storms around 3 a.m. that's going to hit on Thursday. Moving into Friday around 6 a.m. from the 3 a.m., there will be a 60% chance of rain. And so it'll dry up, but as the water will evaporate, you'll see a little mild, crispy winds in the morning. It'll cool down as the sun comes in. And then we'll have a nice, calm weekend and moving into uh, the next week. We'll have Monday and Tuesday with great weather for you to walk to class that you'll be able to wear enough clothes that you'll be in either a long sleeve or shorts. You'll still be comfortable. That's the best part about this weekend's weather. And so moving on, back to Malik and Keeley. Thank you. Sally, come on over here. Squeeze in. Yeah, get in, get here, in here nice and tight. Nice and tight. So we have a big announcement. Um, Drum roll, probably. From now on, every single week you turn on Wake Up Call, you will see Miss Sally, Ch Sally Chabuk. She's joining us. She'll be the third member of our team, meteorologist, keeping us updated. Keep so we wear the right clothes. Yeah, I don't want to come, yeah. come sweating or, or come freezing. Or forget my umbrella and mess up yeah. this beautiful face. This hair. Thank you. I'm so honored. I'll text you guys what to wear before we go. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> In the morning, let me know. Call me. No, how excited are you? This is new for you. You've just started this I'm year. I'm super excited and couldn't be more grateful that this is the opportunity that I get today, especially with such a great team, and I couldn't have asked for better team members, just even behind the camera and, and on screen. Great. So, Give yeah. us a little background on your major, where you're from, grade. So I am a sophomore. I'm first generation. Both of my parents are from Iraq. I grew up in Overland Park, Kansas. Moving on to that, we, um, I just grew up, went to Blue Valley West around here. My major is meteorology with a mathematics, mathematics minor. Wow. Maybe journalism minor. No, oh. not maybe. You are. 
So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, you might see me on campus with my big dog, Alpha. Oh, Alpha. Oh, oh I Alpha. bring him every other week. You'll have to bring I, him I, in for like I'm a claim, I'm claiming him. That's my dog. You don't even now. like animals. I know, but I like Alpha. So <laughs> oh, interesting. So big, but big news today. Sally's going to be joining us, and we could not be more yeah. thrilled and excited. Thank you. It's an honor. honor. Thank you. We're looking Thank forward you, to it. Thank you, Sally. Her. Very excited. Get ready for the ride, right? It's going to be fun, crazy, but worth it, right? Absolutely. Very worth it. All right. Stay tuned right here on Wake Up Call. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Wake Up Call. Now we're here with my favorite segment, of course. Mike, what is it again? I come bearing good news. A California woman with Down syndrome got the chance to live out her dream of being a flight attendant, all thanks to Southwest Airlines. She created a bond a few months ago while on a flight with one of the flight attendants. Southwest arranged for her to work on a flight to Seattle from Sacramento as an honorary flight attendant. The young woman had a great time greeting passengers and assisting in the flight attendant duties. That's a very cute video that we just showed, and it's just great to see that she got to live out her dream and that the Southwest flight attendants were so accommodating. That's what life is all about, living out your dreams, okay? Live out your dreams to the best of your ability. That's what I do every day. Look, we're living out yeah, our dreams. Right it's my now. dream. Time for some Twitter videos. It's a new segment, new thing. New thing. We like new things. New yeah, things. We're doing new things right here at Wake Up Call. Twitter videos, what caught our eye on this week on Twitter? Some of these weren't necessarily this week, but they're great. First, we're going to go to Beyonce, this gift of her. There we go. And so the caption is, Cardi Asterix attempts to fight Nicki Minaj. You know, the Nicki Minaj Cardi yeah. thing, we talked about it. Well, then Ra Ali, who was apparently the one who gave Cardi the lump on her forehead, they're like, oh, that's Ra Ali, you know, with the kick Check. protecting Nicki wow. Minaj. The next one is going to be Nick Saban. Nick Saban. Nick Saban. I'm not going to, so quit asking. The caption is, when you're planning to pay your student loans. And I'm okay. not going to. Quit asking. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. And then the last one, take a look. There goes nothing. OK, hold on one second. Ready? See me coming, Taj. Era. Fuck. <gasps> No! Oh my God. Oh my God. They think I got stopped! No! <laughs> no, just keep going. Just let it roll for more, like 15 more seconds. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Bardon, if you're here, take a picture with me! I feel him, I feel him. I literally have my hand. David, do you hear me? I have my hand on him. David, do you hear me? Bardon, take a picture! Take a picture! I'm smiling, I'm sorry. You got it. You got it, let me see, let me see. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god, the papers are moving! Look at that! It works! Malik's gone! Thank god I can do this alone now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Those kind of eyes on uh, Twitter this week. Hopefully we can find some more videos uh, next week and, uh, you know, get some more. That messed up my hair. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I combed it. Sorry, Malik. I combed, combed it today. It. Yeah. Is there anything to comb? Today is a big day for a lot of reasons because one year ago tomorrow, obviously we just do Wednesdays. One year ago. Uh, T tomorrow. tomorrow. A year ago from tomorrow. <laughs> we started this show, Wake Up Call, and over the course of, this, of, of a year we've had... Uh, many guests, we've had many different things we've added in yeah. to make our show as good as it is now. It wasn't always like this. I think we have a clip of the very first show we ever did. Take a look. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the first of many editions of Wake Up Call. I'm Malik Jackson. And I'm Keely McCormick. And we hope you're having a wonderful morning, and we're so happy you've joined us today. We have a great show planned for you all. Some good old news. We'll discuss a little bit. Also have an interview with And that, that was a very, very special day. Those graphics were a little, a little crusty, a little, little not what they should my be. My dinosaur computer before I got my new one. It was, was, but it was so fun. And what I said there was, 
Welcome to the first edition of Wake Up Call of many editions. And over the course of a year, we've had many, many editions. And, you know, we're the, we're we've the best show in Lawrence. I say we're the best morning show in the country, but some would argue. What are we, the Today Show? Good morning, America. Our ratings are higher than theirs. Yeah. Have you not looked at the latest oh, yeah. Nielsen rank? Oh, man, we're at the top. No, I but honestly, there. it's been a fun, uh, an honor to sit next to you and do this with you. And the many of crew members we had has been awesome. It's been amazing. So thanks to everyone, and thanks for thanks to our viewers, mom and dad. And we, yeah, always. <laughs> we started off that show, our very first show, with the musical guest, Ellie. Well, we tried to get her to come back on, but she unfortunately could not make it. So we have her good friend on Caroline Bluebaugh to give That's us right. a little... First show vibes. Okay. Caroline. Hi, my name is Caroline Bluebot, and I'll be playing an original San Francisco. Chills. That was so good. San Francisco, I like that. You guys should all check that out. Thank you, Caroline, for coming on. Yeah, the show thank you today. very much. And thank you for tuning into a wake up call one year anniversary. Happy oh, anniversary. Oh, Love you, dude. We got to celebrate this one, huh? Really we really do. Deal. Thank you for joining us right here at Wake Up Call. We'll see you right back here next Wednesday, 9 a.m. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.